y'all, this is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. This is reason, quadrillion, that you will not want to be living on this earth <laughs> or living at least in this system when it transitions into this final whatever it's supposed to be, this international cooperative government before... Um, our king comes back and we live in the millennial kingdom. This is getting crazy. And um, I want to share this story with you because I know there are people out there who think that uh, cryptocurrency, stable coins, whatever, going to be our saving grace. Ain't going to be no saving grace. Everything is leading to the same path. And as long as you have these different um, Gentile governments who are willing to come up with these ideas to control everybody, you you won't be able to do anything, basically, um, once they co-opt all these different systems. So this is a story about Tether. And Tether is the world's largest stable, stable coin issuer. And in order for them to stay in business, I guess they had to work with... Um, to popo and freeze people's money uh, because there was a fear of money laundering and all sorts of other things. Doesn't make any sense to me, but again, here it is. Anybody can say anything about you when you have digital money. They'll be able to freeze your money. And you think you're going to be spending it. They can accuse you of whatever. Um, and you won't have any recourse. So, again, this is why it's very important for you to have cash on you or resources on your person at all time. And resources doesn't have to be currency or money. It's the, it, it could be the things of value that you need for your survival. Um, so, again, if you have a significant amount of resources, you may want to consider doing things like paying utility bills or um, mortgages and such in advance, like you just got money sitting sitting on that money. Um, if you have not began prepping, you are almost too late, and I strongly recommend that you go out and buy things uh, immediately. I need to add... Um, a preppers checklist to my description because there are a lot of people who have not done anything. I'm meeting people now who are just now waking up after this movie came out, Leave the World Behind. And they just been paying attention to world events, things that are happening with uh, money, bank glitching, uh, the prices of uh, daily supplies going up, food is going up, you know, gas fluctuating, uh, the pandemics and different illnesses, uh, even just things in the sky. You'd be surprised that um, the people who have been watching the skies at night and seeing weird stuff and are just like, I know I'm not crazy. I've never seen that before. This is not like a fallen star. This is something else. Um, I met someone the other day who said they were outside um, <laughs> after they watched the movie Leave the World Behind. And now they're hyper vigilant about uh, and, and I will say this person is awakened or chosen and um, they were outside one night and they they could sense something in the woods or, or near a fence and it was just shaking the fence and it was like I went over and I looked I, I didn't see nothing but I knew something was there because nothing could shake that fence that way um, Things are happening in the earth, upon the earth, and just people are missing it. And I, I want my people who follow me to be ready because we don't know when anything is going to happen. But, you know, I was watching um, another channel and they had a video of the State Department talking about uh, mass evacuations of American Americans from a lot of different places, including Israel, and, and that's like half a million people. So like they're they're moving people from that part of the region to other places, and I I don't know if they're bringing them back to America. That, that wasn't the case. It was just 
making contingency plans for Americans. And so, you know, I took that to mean usually within a couple of months, they are ready to escalate and do something else. They've gotten, I don't want to say they've gotten a warning. They've decided (laughs) that it's time to do whatever the next phase is in their plans. And they try to give folks a heads up and You know, they don't tell us anything here. They do tell the people who are working abroad some stuff so they can try to get out from over there, get home, get to a safer place, sit them wherever they want to go as long as it's not in another war zone. And if you choose to go to another war zone, then that's on you. They're not coming back to get you. So it's that type of thing. And um, things are just happening all over the place, all sorts of things. And there are lots of distractions. I don't want us to be distracted, but I also want us to keep an eye out on this infrastructure and and how it's coming together because it is going to impact each and every one of us, especially those of us who are living in the West um, or controlled by the West. Uh, But it also just seems like all the nations have sold out um, their people and they're all on this agenda so we need to understand there's not going to be any place for you to run or hide if you have not already made provisions for your family to be as self-sufficient as possible and weather all these different storms um, then you know it's going to be really difficult for you not to go into the beast system um, initially when that uh, roll it out and so they're going to bring this chaos so that they can get the order that they want. And we need to continue to think that way. All this chaos has a purpose. And when you see it from far away, you you should try to make uh, as many adjustments as you can so that you will not be caught off guard and unaware uh, of the adversary's wicked plans. So let's get into this story from Crypto Slate. It came out on yesterday. So it says, Tether CEO said the world's largest stablecoin issuer wants to become a world-class partner to the U.S. to expand dollar hegemony. Which is scary, but... Okay, so it says the world's largest stablecoin issuer has frozen... 326 wallets containing $435 million worth of Tether um, for the U.S. authorities. The company highlighted in a letter on December the 15th. The assets were frozen to assist law enforcement authorities, including the U.S. Department of Justice, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Secret Service. The letter addressed to Senator Cynthia M. Loomis and Congressman J. French Hill followed another letter to the politicians on November the 16th. Both letters were sent in response to Loomis and Hill's letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland on October 26th, which outlined their concerns about the use of stable coins for illicit activities such as money laundering and terrorist financing. Making both letters public, Tether CEO Paolo Paolo or Ardoino, Ardoino, I'm sorry, I'm (laughs) butchering that, um, noted that the company aims to become a world-class partner to the U.S. to expand dollar hegemony globally. So as you can see, everybody has this world and global language now, which again, just lets you know that we don't have any borders anymore. And corporations are fully on board with the these nations requesting different things of them and adhering to those requests. Also, you have to understand about the money piece that they are able to control your money. So anybody can say, I think this person is engaging in some illicit activity. Can you please freeze their account? 
and you don't have access to this money you thought you were hiding or that was protected because it wasn't in the banks. So it doesn't matter if your money is in a bank. You can have a stable coin. You can have cryptocurrency. You can have some other digital form of currency and it is still not going to be safe. And so whatever you don't have on you can be controlled by somebody else and you don't have any privacy and you don't have any safety. Whereas if you were engaging in some activity, said activity, alleged activity, that could be seen as not legal. I gotta speak in code here because I don't want anybody to think that I'm encouraging illicit activities and illegal activities. I'm not, I'm just doing a hypothetical here. If Say if you were, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say because I don't engage in illegal activities. Um, drug runner? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, say you were a person engaging in illegal activities. I don't know what that illegal activity would be. But say you decided that you didn't put your money in the bank because banks are control or banks have to report if you put in a certain amount of money and the frequency that you make certain deposits so you know you can't deposit anything over nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars or it triggers a report to the i don't know if it's i think it's the irs or somebody so they have some system set up where if you make large deposits um, it's traced and they put a hold on your money for a certain number of days. Um, they don't allow you to do cash. So they have all these rules now where, it, you know, it makes banking more difficult, even for people who are doing legitimate business. So folks thought they were going to be able to use these other um, digital methods because they're, they were at the time, they were not regulated by the government because they were new. Uh, because the government didn't really know how to regulate those and because they didn't create that currency was created outside of the system, allegedly. Um, you know, they just had, they had to catch up with this technology or this type of currency. And so now it appears that a lot of these corporations, these digital currency corporations are working with governments globally to monitor, seize, and um, freeze your currency. So there's not going to be a way for you to hide anything. There's not going to be a way for you to do anything, you know, make any types of transactions because these corporations are willingly in order to, I don't know, have some type of protection or where they've been bullied into it or like my theory is they are all one in the same um they're just different names for c for cbdc that's that's my thought but never mind what i think anyway you ain't gonna be able to run and you ain't gonna be able to hide you know these corporations are helping them so they've lured people into thinking that oh this is a safe way for you to put your money in you're gonna safer than banks it's going to be better. All of it is the same thing. All of it is the same thing. There's not going to be a way for you to hide anything because of this blockchain technology that they've created um, uh, or this blockchain period. It, everything is traceable. Everything is trackable. Nothing is a secret. And these corporations are going to sell you out. So again, if you don't have stuff on your person, you're going to be jammed up. Tether's commitment to prevent illicit use of USDT. Um, in its latest le letter, Tether highlighted that it implemented a wallet freezing policy on December the 1st to assist law enforcement agencies in combating illicit use of stable coins. Calling it a historic milestone, Tether said that the straightforward yet impactful policy involves freezing all wallets listed on the Office of Foreign Assets. Our assets controls 
specifically designated nationals list. So if they put you on this list, then your money going to be froze. So I guess, you know, for right now, that's where they're starting. But in the end, it's to me a pilot, a test to see how this is going to work, to see if there's any pushback from the little guy. And then they will just trickle it on down till it gets to you and your little neighborhood in, you know, Bucknelly, Nebraska. Tether noted, by expanding our sanctions controls to the secondary market, we are setting a precedent in the industry, leading with foresight and vigilance. So basically, we helping the man watch y'all. That's my take. Tether added that it recently onboarded the Secret Service on its platform and is currently working to onboard the FBI. The stable coin issuer has also helped the DOJ thwart bad actors and aid victims recovery. Victims is recovery. In its four-page November letter, Tether had listed all its ongoing efforts to prevent the use of USDT for nefarious means. This included having a strong Know Your Customer and anti-money laundering program that is at par with those found at sophisticated financial institutions, according to the letter. So that means they're going to be connected to these various um, agencies that that uh, uh, vet your identity or who know your identity like to social security or if you have some type of digital identification um if you file taxes all these different types of digital records they're going to be to be able to cross reference so that there is no um, way for you to skirt any system and you won't be able to engage in what they consider money laundering I guess. <clears throat> Tether's KYC AML program also underwent a Title 31 examination conducted by the Internal Revenue Service on behalf of the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Tether is registered as a money service business with FinCEN, or F I N um, C E N. Tether said it works with third-party services like Chain and Chain Channel Channelis Channelis and WorldCheck to conduct to con to conduct due diligence and background checks on potential customers. It also uses the services to run continuous news and information checks on existing customers to ensure up-to-date information according to the letter. So again, there ain't no privacy. You, we all. This is just a pilot for what's what's gonna really be like. Just how you're gonna um, roll into your social credit s score system. <clears throat> so when you use this digital stuff, that everything's just gonna be cross referenced. You're not gonna be able to hide. And I, I just can't stress enough how troubling this is because it just means that there won't be any place for you to hide and you will have a difficult time trying to be outside of this system tether emphasized that its thousands of customers mostly include accredited individuals trading firms and institutions due to its limited number of customers compared to the millions of customers handled by some crypto exchanges tether performs much more thorough due diligence on all its clients but you know, they always start off with, you know, one group of customers, but eventually they will expand or they will branch off into some other type of business where they will have individuals. But even if they have these um, corporate customers or... Um, like uh, trading firms and institutions, they still have access to your personal information because this whole new system is going to be about sharing data and knowing everything about everybody so they can sell you stuff. So it's just going to help ensure that we're all just like perpetual slaves. So it says, additionally, the stable coin issuer is working with Chainalysis, a secure 
I'm sorry, to secure a comprehensive independent analysis of USDT transactions, major blockchains, as well as exploring more real-time monitoring capabilities. So there you go, they're gonna be monitoring us real time. Furthermore, Tether said it uses chain analysis reactor tool, which is used by several government agencies to monitor transactions and identify high risk or suspicious activity. <clears throat> For instance, transactions involving mixers or sanctioned wallets are flagged as high risk. So this is something that my son tells me about um, because he also does He's a financial analyst for a bank. And he's been telling me about these different things. He was talking about tokens and all kinds of stuff. I was like, what? What is that? And so he's explaining it to me. And I was like, this stuff is going on in the banking world. We don't even know anything about it. Um, but his job is basically to monitor fraud. And he's talking about how many people are just like working in, in banking who are just not really paying attention to things that lead to fraud and how you, you know banks are taking huge losses but it's like it's just so weird because like they don't care it's like the banks just let the people keep working and the people just keep being careless and folks are just able to come in and just keep doing stuff so it's just really interesting that they have these um systems where different agencies along with the government monitor transactions. So again, if you do anything digitally, understand is not done anonymously. They know everything that we do. Extensive cooperation with global law enforcement agencies. Here we go. According to the November letter, Tether has worked with 19 jurisdictions globally and assisted with ongoing investigations, in some cases proactively offering information to law enforcement. Tether froze 800 million USDT in secondary market addresses that were mostly associated with hacks and thefts, as per the letter. The company said it helped the, helped the DOJ with 68 different requests by freezing 188 wallets, holding 70 million USDT. Tether collaborated with Israel's anti-terrorist financing agency. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go the NBCTF, to identify and freeze wallets associated with Hamas and other terrorist organizations. Tether said its relationship with the NC NBCTF started before the October attack and that it will continue to work with the agency to prevent illicit use of USDT. So, um, you know, if you can't see where this is going, they're like, this is the blueprint for what how things are going to work which is why I don't have any faith in any digital money. I don't care, you know, what, what folks like, it's going to be good. It's going to be able, they're going to seize everything. All these corporations that um, create these coins for you to use, all it's going to take is for the government to come knock at the door and threaten them or offer them some perk. And they're going to take it. It's an offer that they really cannot refuse. And so if you are still foolish enough to think that you're going to be able to use digital currency of any sort and, it, and evade dealing with the international uh, law enforcement community, you are out your mind. Um, so bartering and local currency is going to be your ticket. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that. Um, those of us who are not on board with this new global order. But make no mistake, they've already planned everything. They already have a global um, tax code. I don't know if I ever released the video. I did a video on it a couple of months ago, and I just kind of got behind because there's so much stuff coming out. But I want to see if I can dig it up. But I want you to know that they already have a tax code, an international tax law. So you know how each nation has their own tax laws and they have their own ways of doing stuff. When this new system comes up, they're going to have an international tax system. It's going to be one way to tax people. It's going to be one everything. And most folks don't even have a clue. Um, and the new tax law was created by who? The U and the N. So 
With that said, I'm going to end this video now, but I just wanted to share with you this story from Crypto Slate because I want you to get in your head. You're not going to find no digital nothing to buy, sell, or trade with that these folks won't be able to get their hands onto or their eyeballs onto you. Anything that's transacted digitally is not going to be protected, is not going to be safe. And they're already showing you how they're going to backdoor, allow these companies to have access to systems to verify you, which means you won't be you won't be um, anonymous. And every record that's recorded can be traced. So it's all a bunch of doo doo. I may not be able to explain it to you right. <laughs> because I don't deal with it. But I'm just sharing with you what I see. And is that it's not gonna be trans it's not gonna be safe. It's, there's nothing private about it. There's nothing gonna be um it's not gonna be anonymous and it's gonna be traceable. Even though they're saying it's not traceable, they're telling you right now it's traceable and they're working with different law enforcement agencies across the globe to prevent money laundering and other things that they feel is a problem but that's always how they get the foot in the door because once you say that it's always about crime it's always about protecting something and then it evolves into what the real agenda is so anyway that's all i got y'all on this story so please like this video share it and subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification and hit all so that you'll be notified each and every time i upload new content follow me on rumble and odyssey all of my content here on youtube uh, will be on those platforms in the event that the channel goes down you will be able to find my old content there if the internet goes down i'm out i won't be back hopefully you have looked at all the old content, looked at the new content, learned some things, understand what's going on, and be able to move accordingly because I'm not going to be coming back once things go awry. I'll be on uh, Facebook and Instagram in the event that I need to contact you, and the links are for, um, for all those platforms are in the description. Lastly, if you'd like to uh, contribute to the channel, there are links in the description for um, ways for you to give buy coffee or make a venmo donation um this is a labor of love i read constantly when i can't sleep at night i'm reading and looking i just i don't know between reading the word and trying to learn different things and just you know keep up with going what's going on in the world um i'm not a news person i just do this because the creator told me this is my job and I'm trying to honor, <laughs> uh, make up for some of the terrible things that I have done <laughs> in my life and been asleep and hard headed and disobedient and all those things. So in any event, support the channel in any way that you uh, can. If you've already supported the channel, I greatly appreciate it. Lastly, keep praying, keep prepping. Please keep prepping, keep seeking the most high because things are getting real dicey and I don't know how much more time we will have to prepare before the bottom falls out. It just looks like all the pieces are coming together very quickly and this agenda is being accelerated extremely quickly. Um, we're getting all sorts of warnings and flags and in your face taunts. So I just... I don't really know what else to do to try to wake people up. Um, I don't, I can't get uh, any traction with getting my content out. And even when I tell people in person, they just kind of seem to think they'll be able, they're going to have time or, you know, these things are not important or whatever they're doing is um, more important than prepping. So keep prepping, keep praying, keep learning about those laws, statutes, and commandments of the creator make sure that you are um coming out of this world think primitive living and the season of discomfort i keep trying to stress that and i can't stress it enough 
we're going to be in for some rough times. We're going to be disconnected from each other, and we're going to be disconnected from this system. We're going to learn just how reliant upon this system we have been, and a lot of people are going to be addicted to that, and they're going to go right into the new system. Don't be one of those people. Don't rely on any of this stuff because it's not going to work. You're going to be in the system with the mark on your head and in your hand. You're going to have a digital wallet and a digital ID and digital money. And you're going to be a slave. You won't be able to run or hide. You're going to be constantly connected. If you want to throw away your phone, you won't be able to throw it away because you won't be able to access anything in this system without a smart device. So with that said, try to become self-sufficient, people. If you have resources and y'all still out here celebrating Christmas, you better take that money and buy you some canned goods, non-perishable food items, some candles, toilet paper, a shovel, some pop house, if you know what pop house are, um, water, water purification, hygiene products, um, natural holistic remedies to cure things if you get sick. You got to be ready for whatever because whenever this thing hits, it's going to hit all at one time. And when this system comes back up, this is what we're going to have. So try to make it so that you don't have to go into this system um, because it's not going to be pretty. All right. This is Marley K. Love y'all and I'm out.